this is Ms. Forte and today I want to talk about dealing with our nerves and fear whether it be stage performance or sometimes even practice some of you even going to lessons at all and just the things that really hinder us from from fulfilling our potential. I want to start with just why that's important for us to deal with those fears and start to really recognize them and and work through them because I think it's just something that we all deal with and it's super important. If you come to personal lessons with me and, and private lessons with me, the first thing I'm going to talk to you about is dealing with your fears. So that's what I really want to do today is just talk through some of the things of what you could be afraid of, what we're dealing with, and why it's so important for us to deal with those things. And the reason that that's the first thing that I start with is because there is a physical thing that happens when we get nervous, when we have fear. And some people talk about the fight or flight response. I actually went to a, a yoga voice class, this was super exciting, where she really talked about the fact that we actually have fight, flight, or freeze. And so for some of us, it's even more of a just like I'm just stuck. What, what happens when we just have that fear take us? And so a lot of the things that we deal with in our techniques and stuff like that, I can talk to you all day long about breathing techniques and how to breathe from your diaphragm and how to do blah, 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 and all this stuff. But if when you get in front of people or you go to perform, you start to get really nervous or have this fear, the first thing that goes is your breathing. I mean, for most people, that's kind of when we start to go <laughs> and we just kind of hyperventilate or you tense up, you start to get really, uh, and so it's really important that we deal with those things and that we look at them. And the other thing is there's also such an emotional component to singing in the fact that it's just a place that we need to let out our emotions and it's sharing so much of yourself that is a one of the things that makes it scary is because it is sharing so much of yourself and it's sharing you in a unique way and no other person ever can sound just like you. And so that's an awesome thing. It's some, something that's so great in the fact that we can really be proud and excited of this is my unique contribution to music and to the world and, and my voice. But also at the same time, that's something that's so scary for us to do is to let out our voice. And so I think it's just really, really important that we deal with those things and even figuring out, figuring out what they are can sometimes lead you to, to well, it's what kind of what I call therapy for life. Sometimes voice lessons is therapy for life. It's not just therapy for your singing, um, which is definitely a thing, but it's also therapy for your life. Because it can really, sometimes songs can bring up emotions that we weren't ready to deal with and we're not ready to let out. And sometimes, honestly, dealing with talking about our, our fears of what makes us afraid to be on stage or what makes us nervous or gives us stage fright or doing all these things can bring up things that you're not even aware are there. A couple weeks ago, I had therapy lessons with all of my students, it was amazing. And it really reminded me of how important this is and why I usually really start with, what are you afraid of? And what's gonna hold you back? Because if you don't deal with that first, if you don't deal with, the mental things happening or the emotional things happening behind why you would be afraid on stage or why you would even be afraid to sing at all. Why are you afraid in the lesson room? Why are you afraid to come in and sing in front of me? If you have these, you know, fears and tensions, what is it going to do physically to you? And how can we deal with it? How can we really work through it? Because that's so important to do. Through the coming weeks, we're going to talk more in depth about them of kind of what happens to you when you get afraid. And so we'll go through some practical things. There are some practical things that you can do as far as dealing with, well, what I call the practical fears. And there, there are some techniques that you can use, but a lot of it too is simply just, honestly, it's kind of going to therapy and, and starting to really deal with those inner, inner things that are so specific to you. So that's really the first thing that you have to do 
in, in dealing with fear is figure out what it is you're afraid of. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, you can let me know in the comments or ask any questions that you have. Subscribe to my channel and get videos delivered direct to your email. You can also support me on Patreon. Happy singing!